Oh, here. Tubers, um, I'm going to try and get some more light going here. So you can see better. Um, it's kind of not very planned out very well. Okay, so there's this bolt here, and there's that bolt there, and then there's some stuff over here. I'm not sure what it's going to take to get this off. I've never dealt with one of these, but I know I'm going to have to replace this now, too, along with the oil dipstick. Um, all the electrical's bad. I can already tell you that, for sure. Not sure on this carburetor if it's savable yet. We'll see. But, and I can turn over the engine here. There's water in one of the cylinders. But it does turn over. It's a little rough, but we'll see. We'll work on it. Yep, yep. Uh, a little bit more, a little later, and I'll get some better lighting. Okay, uh, tubers here. Um, yeah, well, I got some better lighting. Down to the carburetor now, and I don't know what was there, but it was just kind of a big... Let me grab a flashlight. One second. I didn't think it was still going to be like this, though. So, now I get a handy-dandy flashlight. Okay, so I think that's like a breather or something, but there's this big black blob there, and it just kind of crumbled everywhere around it now. Then there's that hole there, and then there's that. I assume that's the ignition, and I don't know what that is. Uh, that's the, ex the uh, stand take. Um, you know, I just don't know much about Onan's, so I'm going to need everyone's help here if you can. <laughs> I hate the bag, but that's about all I can do. Um, but yeah, here... I'm going to put some oil in the cylinders just to be nice to it. But I, I don't know how the throttle works on these either. But I think the throttle cable came up to... Put that down gently without breaking another lens. The throttle cable came up to here. But this is frozen, so I don't, this doesn't move. Did it move? It had to have, because that messes with this here. And this must be the governor. That's about all I can figure out. So, I don't know what this was to either, but it's toast. Like, everything that was thin on here is kind of like toast. Um, yeah. This is what's left of the air cleaner. It was, well, it isn't, uh, it wasn't on fire, it's just like it got hot enough that it melted the plastic. And crispified the paper part of it. But, everything seems to be fine on it. It turns over fine. I do need a dipstick. Well, I don't need a dipstick. I need a thing for it. But yeah, it's got pretty clean oil on it. And it's clean oil for the most part, besides the fact that it was in a fire. So I'm going to replace it anyway. And just because, you know, you got to do that anyway. So I'm going to try and clean it up as best as possible later. Um, this is about all I'm going to do, I think, for now. I don't even know what time it is. Lost track. Uh, I had to... This one I tried to drill out, and it was just... Forget it. So I took my handy-dandy Dremel and cut it. And then this one I took the Dremel to right away and just cut it, and I went through a couple cutting discs, and that was kind of a pain. But it is what it is. I think the carb is salvageable. It is what it is. We'll find out later on. I, t I don't know. I'll open it up later. If that has a plastic float, it's probably going to have to replace that and stuff. But, yeah. This is where I'm at. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you enjoy this, let me know or something. I don't know. I'll keep doing it even if you don't enjoy it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.